So I had one of my crazy Jesse ideas. I started ordering stuff for my Imperfect Produce box. They just started offering meat for my deliveries and I was so excited. I was like, oh my goodness, pretty soon I'm not gonna have to go to the grocery store anymore. And that made me want to come up with a meal plan and really try and eat at home for the next five days, three meals a day at home and not outsource all these extra meals, you know, oh, well, I don't feel like cooking. Let's just go out to eat. Let's just go grab fast food or I want a snack. Let's just go, you know, grab this, bring this. Oh, well, look, there's a sale on this. I'm going to run to the grocery store five times this week and come home with a whole bunch of junk food. And I wanted to share with you guys what I actually bought from my Imperfect Produce box and from the grocery store. So I have some clips coming of both of those hauls. And then at the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you my actual meal plan. And I don't write it out probably like you've seen before where it's like Monday, we're doing this for breakfast, this for lunch, this for dinner, because that just sets me up for failure. I have ideas for breakfast, ideas for lunch, ideas for dinner, and I'm gonna stick with those. I also purchase things for snacks, salty and sweet. I will warn you, my Imperfect Produce box, I had refilmed that like seven times because I kept having technical issues. So it's a little rushed and I do say a couple things incorrectly. I correct those in editing, but it's not actually corrected. It's just written out so that you understand what I'm saying. You've been warned. But what makes this crazy and a little bit ambitious is if you follow me on Instagram, you see that a lot of times I will film while I'm cooking. And I thought I can take you guys along with me as I cook all of these meals on my meal plan. So if you're interested in the recipes, you can go and click on my Instagram and you can watch my stories and see how I actually make the things that I'm showing you in this video. So I'm gonna include in the description, the link to my Instagram and also it's on my Facebook page. So I'll include that link too. So if you don't have an Instagram, but you have a Facebook page, you can see those from either one of them. Uh, the only difference is I don't think that I can save stories on my Facebook page. So on my Instagram, I will be able to save those stories so they'll be archived. And so if you miss a day or you're seeing this a week late, you can actually go back to my Instagram and still see those. Facebook page, I think what's gone is gone. Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments because that's really interesting if I can archive on my Facebook page as well. Anyways, guys, without any more talking because it's really late, I, all of this excitement meant that I had a due date on this project. So it is super late. It's almost midnight. Um, so I'm not going to hold you guys up anymore or hold myself up anymore because I'm ready to go to bed. Here is the footage of the grocery haul. And remember at the end, I'm actually going to show you the meal plan. So stay tuned for that. Between the grocery store haul and this, I am trying to get five days worth of three meals a day plus snacks without having to supplement. Other than I may, I realized that I got a eggplant and I was planning on frying it. And I think you might need to marinate this in buttermilk, which I didn't get because I didn't think about because I, I don't know if I've ever done it before. If I have, it's been a really long time. But I'm gonna quickly go over everything. I did get this pack of steaks. I can't tell if it's two steaks or one steak, but it is eight and a half ounces. I got this smoked chicken apple gouda sausage, which I can pair with mac and cheese and green beans for a quick, easy dinner. I got these pork chops and there are two pork chops in here. I have, I guess we'll just start this way and go around. I impulse bought some cilantro, but it worked out perfectly because I also got some grape tomatoes and limes and onions and spring onions. So I can make a pico de gallo or something else that kind of has those Spanish notes in it. I also got some regular tomatoes for sandwiches. They did have bread for my sandwiches. So I really only had to get the cheese and the lunch meat from my grocery store, but they normally do have cheese. This week, I mean, they still had cheese this week. It just wasn't the cheese that I wanted. So that was just me being picky, not on them. I got some Parmesan cheese from them and pesto. I'm hoping to use the pesto for this seaweed pasta. This is flour and seaweed, wheat and seaweed. I'm just hoping that my toddler will like this anytime I can sneak some greens in. And I did have some success with using their chickpea pasta from the Imperfect Produce Box, not specifically this brand, but from my Imperfect Produce Box, they had a deal where for like one penny, you could order 
chickpea pasta and my toddler liked that. So then I started thinking, oh, there's this whole world of, you know, vegetable pastas that I can start sneaking in to his diet. I also picked up some potato gnocchi. I've never used potato gnocchi or cooked with potato gnocchi before. So I also got some chicken broth. I don't know if I need to make this into a soup or if I can make it like a stir fry pasta. Stay tuned to find out what I do with it. I also picked up this loaf of take and bake sourdough bread. Dave's Killer Bread, the epic everything bagels. I've never had an everything bagel before, but I have had Dave's bagels and I love his bagels. And this is actually cheaper than what they sell for at my grocery store. So I picked up these Brussels sprout puffs. I'm really interested to see how these taste. So far, all of the strange snacks that I've bought from my Imperfect Produce box, I have grown to love. So they describe the flavor as out of this world. I'm just hoping that wherever out of this world is, it doesn't taste like baby farts because even though I like Brussels sprouts, I can admit that they do have a little bit of essence of baby fart. And I don't think my toddler's gonna be very fond of that. And again, this is in hopes of tricking him into eating some more veggies. I got some zucchini. Don't know if I will make zoodles out of these or if I will just saute them, but they're always a good easy side dish. I also got an acorn squash. I love roasting the seeds to these, even though I'm not a huge fan of acorn squash. It's kind of an incentive to get me to eat a different vegetable because if not, I would probably eat zucchini and squash all the time and potatoes. So to get me to eat this, knowing that that means I get to roast the seeds and eat the seeds. They're a lot like pumpkin seeds, so they're really yummy. And I also got green beans. That's another one of those staple vegetables that I could just eat all the time. And I think I already went over, did I already go over the cucumber? tomatoes and onions for a cucumber tomato salad. Also good for just regular salads as well, just to have. I was really excited about these green grapefruits. I've never had a green grapefruit before. I like having grapefruit for breakfast and just eating it fresh or slicing it in half, putting a little bit of sugar on top and putting it under the broiler in the oven and brulee that sugar. I know warm grapefruit sounds weird, but it is delicious. Also picked up some oranges just to have some more fruit in the house. And, oh, this seasoning. This is an everything, or sorry, uh, seasoning for all things. And the ingredients are salt, garlic, onion, brown mustard seed, black pepper, carrots, bell pepper, sorry, red bell pepper, orange peel, parsley, rosemary, chili pepper, basil, I could never say this, majorum, majorum, oregano, thyme, and safflower oil. I had been wanting to try out their seasonings, but I didn't want to get something that I already buy in bulk at my grocery store. This is something I've never seen before. I might have to test it out on some chicken breast and just see if I like it. I also added a carton of eggs. I just about always add these into my basket now. For my location, I don't know if the prices vary throughout Imperfect Produce because it is locally sourced, but for me, these are only $4.99 and they are organic and pasture raised. And if I wasn't buying these from the box, I'd be buying them from the grocery store. The exact same thing, different packaging, of course, but organic pasture raised eggs and mine would be around $6.99, $7.99. So major savings there. I love getting them from there. I don't know if I already said that I got the block of chocolate. I am trying not to supplement. So Having this chocolate will give me something to snack on if the toddler takes over the Brussels sprout chips. And also I now have a salty and a savory. While Imperfect Produce has a lot of new stuff that I'm super excited about, they still didn't have everything that I needed or the things that I needed were not at the price that I wanted. So I still went back to the old fashioned grocery store. And I just wanted to include everything that I needed to prepare these meals aside from what I already had in my kitchen because I'm not dragging everything out. That's a little bit too much. And we'll go ahead and address the cereal first. Yes, I know this is super basic and cereal really, but making everything from scratch, three meals a day, five times a week is way too much. It's unrealistic for an average mom. So cereal is actually on my meal plan list so that I know one day, at least one day, you know, we have two cereals here. We can do more than one day, but at least one day I have the fallback of just a bowl of cereal. It was in my plans and everybody loves cereal. I don't know why we have to be so hard on cereal. Is it the healthiest? No, but our donuts? No. Do we love them? Yes. So <laughs> that is in my meal planning, oatmeal. And 
I know it seems a little extra to buy the oats instead of the little packets, but this is a little bit more customizable and I feel like it's a little bit of a healthier choice because I'm controlling the sugar, I'm controlling the ingredients, I'm controlling the flavors, I'm controlling the portions. So, and it only takes five minutes. Five minutes versus one minute is not that bad, in my opinion. Mac and cheese, another mom cheat. Yes, I know how to make mac and cheese in the oven. I also know the cost of making mac and cheese in the oven versus making it on the stovetop. I also know the time involved in making it in the oven versus making it on the stovetop from a box. And I like this salty garbage. So if you don't agree with me, make your own mac and cheese, you do you. But sometimes I just need to know that I can make my mac and cheese in 10 to 12 minutes instead of 30 minutes and you know, $15 worth of cheese. I don't know, maybe you have an easier way, but it takes like 30 to 45 minutes for most mac and cheese recipes that I know of. And then you're buying all these different types of cheeses to bake it. I do have a stovetop one, but that calls for canned cheese. So, I mean, really in the end, isn't it just this? Your canned cheese is just a squirt packet, right? Now onto bananas. Bananas are a good snack. They're not actually in any of my recipes, but if these do go bad, I always put them in the freezer for smoothies or make banana bread. So that's another breakfast option. If I have time to make some banana bread with rotten bananas, chances are there will be but rotten bananas. We don't eat enough bananas in my house to consume six bananas before they turn black. The cake, this is what happens when you send your husband out for groceries and he knows you've had a long day. He got me tiramisu cake from H-E-B, which I love. And no, we don't share this. This entire block of cake is for me. So if you've been feeling guilty about binge eating something this week, just remember I'm eating an entire, I don't know, square of cake. That's probably a, we're not gonna do math here. It's just a big old piece of cake. So have no fear, I'm right in it with you. I got lunch meat, because again, easy meals, don't wanna overdo it. I do cook from scratch a lot, but we also eat simple things like sandwiches. And I do have two things in mind for this lunch meat, regular turkey sandwiches, and then also I wanna make a grilled pesto mozzarella sandwich. Sounds fancy, it's just basically a toasted sandwich with pesto and mozzarella and turkey on it. And so of course I need mozzarella for my pizzas and for my turkey mozzarella sandwiches. Another good snack is cheese sticks. My toddler will eat them. I at least know he's getting in some calcium, some protein, something to sustain him besides noodles and crackers and cookies. So we try and keep cheese sticks on hand. I don't normally buy the prepackaged spices. I will usually get the bulk spices from HEB and they have little baggies for you to scoop them in. They did not have parsley this time. And I kind of wish I would have known that because I would have ordered the $1.99 parsley from the Imperfect Produce box. But nevertheless, I have parsley for those Red Lobster cheese biscuits. Milk, because when you have a child, you have to buy milk. Me and my husband actually aren't even milk drinkers, but we use it to froth for our lattes and lots of sippy cups full of milk throughout the day. So we're not gonna go over that too much. Baby wipes diapers, dishwasher tabs, and that is all that we've purchased from the grocery store to go along with our imperfect produce. So now that you've seen everything that I've bought, here is my meal plan for the next five days. When I brainstorm for my meal plans, I can't just write everything down in a specific order in the way that they will be cooked. So I basically go Here's my ideas for breakfast, here's my ideas for lunch, here's my ideas for dinner. So that's what I'm gonna go ahead and show you. As you saw, I did account for snacks, but I don't include them in my meal plan. I just make sure that I buy them so that they're here when I want a snack. Don't forget, if you're interested in any of the recipes to these meals, they will probably be on my Instagram. The link is gonna be in the description. If for some reason you go to my Instagram, you don't see a recipe you were interested in, just send me a message and I can just message you the recipe or whatever my plan was for that meal. Also, if you have any questions, don't feel like you have to go to my Instagram. You can also leave them here in the comments. So wish me luck this week because like I said at the beginning of the video, I have not always had success with meal plans,
but I am really excited about this and I love that I'm able to share this with you guys.